so I put all the big screws in and if these tires survive by any miraculous way, um, stands, no tubes, dude, you guys gotta hook me up with something just because people are gonna be going bananas. All right guys, so I just did a fake clean on the tokel. That's where I just take my brush and get all the dirt off. And it's time to finally kill these tires. That's right, it's part two of the torture test. Now, if you haven't yet watched part one, then you're totally missing out. Click up there. It's gonna basically bring you up to the point of where we're at today. So after I did my first test, I put a ton of holes in these tires. I didn't do a thing to them. I literally kept them at the PSI they were at went out on the trail and I've ridden the bike probably five or 10 times since then in all of my normal riding, as you can see here. All the way down on the Tokel, oh yeah. Cruising. Now, I know some of you still are like, yeah, is that really all on the Tokel? Is that really those tires? So we're going to pop over to the trails real quick and just give you an example of the pressure and torture that these tires have to withstand with a guy like me riding them. So we're going to jump out. I'm going to show you just an example of that. Then we're going to come back here to my house, which is headquarters. And I, today is the day we're finally going to kill these tires once and for all, no matter what, even if I have to take a box cutter to the sidewalls. So let's jump in. Let's go. All right, so I got 16 PSI in the rear and I got about 14 or 15 in the front. And uh, this is how I normally ride these tires. So now here's a little glimpse of what these puppies have been through with me as their owner. So that's just a small glimpse of how these tires have been used out on the trail. And like I've shown, I treat them like every other tire and even with hundreds of holes in them, they've withstood everything. So now the real test is going home and putting some things that you should never put on and in your tires and seeing how they do. All right, so we're back to the testing ground. I'm pretty excited for this part two. As you can see, we have the board as I tested last time. Now, a ton of you guys gave a ton of great suggestions on what I should do to really put my tires to the test. A lot of people said I should take the board and take it off jumps and do a bunch of other things, but I don't think that makes too much of a difference because I really wailed on this thing while it was here. Now, the other two top things that were requested, number one was screws. And people are saying use all different types of screws because those screws are going to pull the rubber out, leaving a bigger hole and probably cause my tire not to be tubeless. Along with that, a second biggest request was broken glass. Luckily for me, I had an old candy jar sitting around that was broken. So I'm gonna use my hammer and cut that up into some bigger pieces and we'll definitely test the tires with that. Now I'm gonna go slow. I actually have no idea how this is gonna work out. So first run with screws, we could totally botch these tires and be done, but we're gonna see how it goes together. First up though, I actually don't know how much sealant is in my tires currently, so I'm just gonna go over a run on the board like I did in the original test and make sure our tubeless is running good. All right, 
first time back we're looking good, so time to put some screws in. All right, so I got a couple of different screws here. I'm gonna start with just the real thin one. This is just like a standard drywall screw. From there, I'm gonna use just the good old golden wood screw that we used like as kids making tree houses. And then I have some thicker threaded screws and we'll see how that goes. And these, these might do the trick. Okay, start with the little screws. So I put five of these screws in right down the middle and they stick out as about as far as the nails, but they are a little thicker with threads. I don't think it's gonna be much difference, but let's see. All right, small screws, round one. Well, whoever suggested screws was smart because those, even though they're just like about the same size, definitely put a lot more hurting on the tire. I don't know if you can see this, but there's just a little bit of sealant showing and they took a long time to heal. Even though they took a little bit longer to heal, I don't think those little screws are too much of a challenge. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the wood screws in and not only that, I'm gonna put the next size up and just go for Baroque on one big attempt. Let's do it. So I just put all the screws in and I just, I think the tires are done. I, I haven't gone over them yet, but there's no way that this is not gonna wreck my tires. I use stand sealant, any sealant would probably do the same thing and I just can't imagine this working. So I'm gonna go for broke. I'm going to throw some broken glass at the end here in big chunks and small chunks. And if they survive, then if you're not tubeless, I don't know what else I could do because I will be amazed, but we all know they're probably gonna break, so. Let's get some glass in here. So now we've got glass at the end, which I'm a little worried about. And like all the screws I just put in. There's no hope, guys. There's no hope. I don't know if I'm ready to let go, but here goes nothing. I believe it's working oh my gosh it's working <laughs> there is currently no air coming out of my tires I am amazed time for round two I guess I don't know how many rounds this is gonna last here we go Besides one hole in the front that is a little stubborn, these tires have plugged. I just, wow, wow. Now I realize something. No matter how many angles I show you of this, most of you aren't gonna be satisfied. So I went and got my big jar of old, nasty, rusty screws. I'm gonna pick out some real winners and do this test one more time, or two, or three, to finally kill them and see at what point, what size screw would just totally do them in. So, these are what I have landed on. If these don't kill these tires, I'm, especially this one, then I just, I give up. They deserve to live, I won't put new tires on. We know that won't happen, so let's get to it. So I put all the big screws in and if these tires survive, 
by any miraculous way. Um, stands, no tubes, dude, you guys got to hook me up with something just because people are going to be going bananas if this works. All right, well, I I've loved these Kenda tires, but they're gone. They're, they're dead. Let's do it. All right, it just survived. They survived, but I think I went too fast for that first huge one. So I need to go super slow and just give her. Here we go. It's sealed. I just, I need to get a close up of this screw because I don't think it's going in the big one. I'm just trying to murder the tires at this point. They just won't die. I've got a bunny hop onto this. There's, I don't think there's any other way. <laughs> well, off camera, the back tire just sprayed sealant in a stream through the big one. That is incredible. I mean, Oh gosh, that is amazing. All right, I just gotta show you guys what is happening. So just to prove to you this isn't a gimmick, I'm gonna take it one step further. This just feels so wrong in so many ways, but I've gotta show you guys I'm not making this up. Come on. So I realized the big screw wasn't actually going in. But this thing is sharp enough and big enough to kill it. So we're just gonna murder them each, right on their own, for science. All right, time to rip it out and really put it to the test. I hope I don't get sealing everywhere. Three, two, one. Ho! Oh gosh. Well, the front one is dead, and shy of me taking this huge hook, right, and literally pressing it and screwing it into the tire, Nothing is killing these tubeless tires. And remember, these aren't tubeless ready tires. They're not designed for tubeless sealant, right? So, I know you're thinking, dude, you're just killing those tires. Why are you doing this? Because I didn't know if tubeless was actually worth it and now I know it completely is. Shy of taking my rim and just railing it over a rock guard of a zero PSI, any thorns, any nails, any glass, anything on the trail is not gonna kill your tires. So, I had to know. <laughs> All right guys, the tires are officially dead. Now, just to recap, these tires lived a long life. They went on a couple hundred, maybe probably 400 miles with me. And finally, after I put in a huge hook in there, they finally died. So I'm happy I did this test. I'm happy I figured it out. And man, I'm not a spokesperson for tubeless, but if you haven't converted to tubeless, I think it's worth it. If you like this video, do me a favor, just click that like button. If you guys think I should do another version of this with some new tubeless ready, maybe Maxxis tires, um, let me know. Leave a comment down below. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to really put tires to the test so that we know if it's really worth it. 
All right, that's it for me. You know what time it is. Don't spend too much time watching a crazy guy on YouTube destroy some tires, but go and ride your bike. And make sure you do it every day.